So one issue we're going to run into in this course is that at the moment, if we head into courses to test slash admin and into the videos, for example, we do not have duration set here and we don't have to set for the text based either. And at the moment, we want to calculate the total length of a course, lesson, and text and video based resources. The videos resources we are unable to calculate because we do not necessarily know where the video is coming from and the duration of the individual video. So the user has to specify that. However, the text based resource we can calculate based on average reading speed. Um, so what we want to go ahead and do first and foremost is we want to just head in and create a new terminal. In here, we want to make a migration add, and in this case, we're going to add duration to the to videos table. So this can be set as null right now. So let's just have an integer in here called duration and set this as nullable. <laughs> and then let's make sure we have table drop column duration. And then let's make sure we have the same one for the text based version. Mm -hmm. Just going to go ahead and copy this one here. And let's go ahead and make sure we drop it. Then outside of that, we just want to add migrator, which one's fine. And then let's go to the video model. And then here, let's just add in the duration. And the same goes for the text-based version here. So with that sorted, now we can pre-fill this information. So inside the video resource in Filament, we can go ahead and specify a text input, make duration required, integer actually it doesn't have to be required but it does have to be an integer and let's go ahead and make sure we also display that information there <clears throat> we are going to automatically calculate this again inside um, the text resource but we still want to just go ahead and add it in here so let's head into filament resources and in here let's make sure we have Duration. <laughs> and let's have a text input duration. Make it an integer. And let's take a look in here. So if I go ahead and specify 33 minutes, it works. And the same for the text based one. So what we're going to go ahead and do in the next video is we're going to go ahead and basically strip the HTML tags from this and we're going to try to calculate based on a word count how long it would take to read this individual block and then instead of having to have to use a pre-fill it unless you want to pre-fill it we can then when creating a record or updating a record automatically store this duration and actually get rid of this whole duration field in here so let's jump into the next video and take a look at that now